Hello friends, this is my second video in Sage 50 Cloud Accounting. So in the last class we have discussed how to create the account ID, how to maintain the balances in it. So in this video we will discuss both the vendors and purchases. So just click on vendor and purchases. So the screen appears like this. So you, you can create a new vendor. Just click on it and select the new vendor. So I can give the uh, vendor ID here. Okay, let me create the vendor ID as 001. Just click on enter. I can give the uh, name as vendor1. Similarly, I can give the uh, contact details uh, and other uh, details here. So the important thing is I have to uh, link the expense account here. So I can give the expense account. Okay, I'm going. I'm going to purchase uh, materials from this vendor. So you, uh, ex uh, so I have uh, linked this account. This is purchase expense items. So relevant. Uh, so we have to link the relevant uh, account expense account to this uh, vendor. That's why I have linked this account. Okay, I can maintain other uh, details also relevant to the vendor. So once I've uh, given all these details, I can uh, click on save. So the thing is uh, saved. Now just close this uh, window. We can go with the uh, purchase order, create a new purchase order. So the vendor ID is just now we created 001. Okay. Here what item I have to purchase I can enter here. So we have no items just create a new. New window populates. Here I, I can give the uh, item name. So I just enter the uh, item name and click on save. The, it shows a valid item class must be selected before continuing. So the item class is important. Let it be a stock item. So this is my first stock item I'm creating. So once, once item is saved, you can close this window. So the item will be displayed here. Okay. Let me see that I'm going to purchase 10 quantity of it. So the relevant uh, sale account. This is the inventory account comes into picture. So this is my company name. Okay, I'm purchasing from vendor and uh, I'm shipping to my company. So I, I can give the uh, unit price. So I need this much of quantity. Just after giving these entries, just click on save. So the purchase order is raised. So now I'm going to enter the bill. So the vendor ID. So here I'm just giving the vendor ID. Okay, let me uh, Okay, let me enter the same quantity as, is, uh, as it is in the uh, purchase order. 
similarly the price the item so here enter the invoice number so first invoice number then I click on save so I have maintained the uh, bill how we can pay the bill pay bill okay I'm just paying with the cash in hand click on ok So I'm paying this. The amount paid us ten thousand or sorry thousand rupees. Just click on uh, tick here. Then click on save. So the payment is made. So we can uh, see this on uh, our render management. So we can see that the purchase order is open. So you can see that the balance is thousand rupees. So let me uh, view the reports. Go to the reports and forms. Here, uh, go to the accounts payable. So these are the different. Uh, uh, reports we can uh, get from the accounts payable uh, process so let me check with uh, vendor list it shows only one vendor is created that is uh, vendor 1 similarly the cash register so the cash on the cash account involved in this transaction we have uh, we have made expense from this cash account so likewise the reports will be displayed We can also see the inventory reports also. Here, uh, the item list only one item we have uh, created. So, we have a uh, 10 quantity of that uh, item in our uh, concern. So, likewise, we can uh, analyze the reports. So, this video we will discuss some basic concepts in uh, Sage 50. In the next video, we will uh, have a deep dive into it. Thank you for watching this video.